Okay, great. So uh, my talk is called Our Goal is to Make Collaborative Editing the Standard on the Web. I will talk uh, about Etherpad Lite. Like I said, my name is Peter Martischker. So I will start. So what is Etherpad Lite? Uh, what is Etherpad? So Etherpad is an open source software. Um, it's to allow people to write together in real time on the web. So if you have a friend, for example, in Australia, you can send him a link to a pad and you can write together and you can see while he's writing what he is writing. So everybody has their own color. And for example, here um, a small screenshot. Uh, uh, person one has blue and person two has red. So what can you do with Etherpad? So the most common use case is brainstorming. So for example, your manager send a pad link to their um, employees and ask them, hey, you have any marketing ideas how we can do that? And every employee writes on this pad and uh, how later the manager looks again on this pad and there are lots of ideas and everybody gets inspired of what the other people are writing. And this is much more efficient than if he would ask, um, send me emails because you have everything copy paste together. Uh, so, so this is one use case. Other thing is meeting minutes. So. Uh, if you have a uh, voice over IP conference, everybody can write its part of the meet minutes. You know that usually you have one person in here have to write all minutes even if you don't know about what he's writing. So you can solve that with a pad very easily. You can do translations. So for example, if you want to translate a complicated text, uh, you don't need one specialized translator. Uh, it's enough if you have 10 people that are able to translate a bit and they can correct each other. So this is also a very common use case. And on the German Pirate Party, we use it to write together on newsletter and press releases. And yeah, so these are the most common use cases. So Etherpad has two big problems. One problem is it's, like I said, admin's nightmare. So it has very high memory usage it has memory leaks, so the longer you run it, the more memory it uses. It has very random high CPU usage, and it's very, very difficult to install. The other problem is it's also Coda's nightmare. It's written in three different programming languages on the server side. It's Java, Scala, and JavaScript, which runs on Rhino. Um, there's nearly no documentation. Um, and there are nearly no comments in the code. So it's very, very difficult to change it, even if it's open source. So open source is not everything. You also need documentation, too. Um, this is why I created Etherpad Lite. So Etherpad Lite basically takes some of the source from the original Etherpad and we ported it to Node.js, which is um, JavaScript on server side. <laughs> So uh, this part uses much less memory. We went from two gigabyte to about 30 megabyte RAM. Uh, we have much less code from about 100,000 lines to 10,000 lines. Um, we optimized it to be easy embeddable. So the idea is that you have our, a web application and you want to embed Etherpad Lite as part of your web application. Um, so this is what our use case is, what we specialize it for, and it has nearly the same functions. So many people think it's called Etherpad Lite because it has less functions, but we call it Etherpad Lite because it um, uses less resources. So this is a very common mistake. Um, so yeah, basically that's it. Um, so. Please install it and give feedback. Tell me how you use it, why you use it. Uh, send pull requests. We have an IRC channel. And go to this URL. OK, cool. Thank you.